Downy mildew of grape caused by the Oomycete plasmopara viticola is one of the most devastating grapevine diseases. In late summer, the diseased leaves take on a mosaic-like appearance. Within the damaged leaf tissue, numerous oospores have developed, thick-walled resting spores of the pathogen. After the grape harvest, the oospores overwinter in the leaf debris remaining on the ground. Starting in spring, when the temperature and humidity reach favorable conditions, the oospores germinate. Each germ tube terminates in a lemon-shaped sporangium. In particular, if there's prolonged rainfall, splashes of rain carry the sporangia to grapevine leaves. These sporangia release motile zoospores. They move with the help of their two flagelli. When zoospores make contact with the leaf surface, they attach to it and transform into roundish cysts. The cysts germinate. As soon as a germ tube encounters a stoma, it enters the interior of the leaf. A mycelium forms. Its hyphae spread between the leaf cells. Through Globos hostoria, the parasite draws nutrients from the cells of its host plant. Soon afterward, yellow spots form on the upper sides of the leaves. The spots look like oil stains, hence the name oil spots. On the undersides of the leaves, a white, downy growth of the pathogen can be seen. It consists of a dense aggregation of sporangia fours, growing out of the leaf through stomata, bearing large quantities of sporangia, the reproductive organs of Plasmopora viticola. Gusts of wind, and above all splashes of rain, spread the sporangia to other leaves. Here, the cycle of zoospore release, infection of the host plant, mycelium formation in the leaf, mass production of sporangia, and sporangial dissemination can continue repeating, especially in wet weather. The infection pressure increases. More and more leaves show the typical symptoms of downy mildew. Gradually, the oil spot lesions turn brown and they may merge to cover large portions of the leaf. Young fruit bunches are highly susceptible to downy mildew. Infected berries turn light brown, become soft, and are frequently covered with the white downy growth of the pathogen. If the disease is not controlled during weather conditions favoring downy mildew, crop losses can be severe.